I was thinking last night about a number of questions or comments that have been made over the last um, few years since I started working as a campsite warden. Um, and some of you that have been here for a while will know that I'm going, I think it's past 18 months now, of putting out a vlog every single day. I don't think I've missed a day. Christmas Day, Boxing Day, New Year, I don't think I've missed a day where I've not put out some form of a vlog. It can be not necessarily campsite warden related, but um, yeah, basically a vlog. And that's hard going. It's really hard work. You wake up in the morning and you've got no idea what you're going to vlog about. So I thought today's vlog, again, I'll sort of randomly chat as my day goes on. Um, yeah, right, Rashid, do you want to go into the campsite? Is going to be about, probably not so necessarily about me, how I became a campsite warden, but why I decided to set up a dedicated campsite warden channel. So, um, out walking Russia first. <clears throat> so we've got quite a campsite at the moment. Um, so I'll pick up the camera as the day goes on and just probably just randomly chat to you about why this channel exists and what it's like to do a vlog every single day. And that's challenging. Right, I need to get my day started and I need to stop saying right. Right. Sorry, really sorry if this vlog is going to be really mixed up because I'm just saying I'm just going to record a couple of minutes here and a couple of minutes there. So I'm on my fourth year now as um, wardening. I worked at a site up in, I remember the order of this now, Northumberland, wasn't it? Um, then the deepest West Wales, sort of South West Wales, then over to Somerset for a time, Lake District, and ended up here in Lincolnshire. And I did the role for a couple of reasons. Um, one, I'm not going to go into full detail. I think I have alluded to it on another vlog. I can't remember which one it was now. Uh, I had a health scare. Um, that turned out to be okay, to cut long, 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 long story short. And at that point of time, I was heavily involved with many, many things locally. Um, perhaps too many things, really like just really involved with things and discuss with Sandra. So the only way I'm going to get uninvolved is if I get myself away from the area where, where we live. Um, and if I'm not in the area, then I can't be involved, basically. And I'd always wanted to do the role as a campsite warden, look after a campsite to see what it was like. So Sandra um, approved, we had a good long chat. Um, and then I started to do a bit of research uh, this took two years from the idea to actually applying for a job um, because I was still so involved at home um, and too committed. So you, you're going online and you're trying to find out, you know, information about becoming a campsite warden. And then, then there was a sort of, a bit of a sketchy Facebook group that I'm now banned from. By the way, if you're thinking about becoming a campsite warden or whatever, there is links to my campsite warden Facebook page and Facebook group down there in the description below. Um, it was a bit sketchy, this group. It was all, I don't know. Um, if you dare to ask a question that was questioning a campsite, you sort of got banned. And Anyway, I got banned from this group. And then I thought, all right, let's go on YouTube and have a look. And there was a couple of YouTube people who put up vlogs about being a campsite warden, but they were just sporadic. They were just here, there and everywhere. They would... <laughs> I don't know, you'd, you'd get one vlog of them cutting grass and then that was it. And then at the end of the year, spending all the money going away. Um, but there wasn't any information out there um, to explain about becoming a campsite warden. Anyway, I decided to then um, start to look for work. And I got a hitch pretty well straight away. I uh, went working in Northumberland, um, Hadrian's Wall campsite, an amazing time, uh, fantastic people to work for. But the moment I, the moment I arrived on the campsite, we went on to lockdown. Um, literally, literally that that day we went, I, I got there, which was interesting. And I decided then let's let me start trying to do some vlogs about being a campsite warden. So you've got me. Way, 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 way back then. Um, tips, 
on looking for work, tips on how to pack. And then I was then started to record my days. And these vlogs all went up onto my own little YouTube channel. Um, and this went on for a, uh, a couple of years, basically. And then I think it was when I think I was in West Wales and Sandra come up and we'd got, I got a little bit of traction on some of the vlogs. And I said to Sandra, you know, there isn't a dedicated campsite warden channel that's properly telling you what it's like to be a camp. There's a lot of very glamorized um, vlogs about being a campsite warden and make, make it all look like it's absolutely wonderful and marvelous and the best thing you can do and you can earn loads of money and save loads of money. But there wasn't a real campsite warden doing regular updates. So I think it was when, um, I, I, can't, I can't remember the exact day. I decided to set up a channel basically called the Campsite Warden. And um, that is how we got to where we are now. Um, and what I'll do is I'll just, sorry, I just need to go and do some bits and bobs. I'll come back in a moment and explain a little bit more about doing daily vlogs. But the conception of the Campsite Warden channel was basically, as far as I know, as far, and do correct me, I do believe I'm the only Campsite Warden channel in the world, I cannot find another one, that is putting out regular Campsite Warden vlogs, not going on holiday vlogs, but Campsite Warden vlogs, very, very regular, and at the moment, every single day. Back in a minute. Oh, wait, right, um, I can't remember, where was I then? Um, regular vlogs, wasn't it? That was it. So, 18 months or so, um, it was very soon after I started work here at the nurseries, I can't remember who it was now. I was still putting out vlogs on this channel and the channel was only small, a couple of hundred subscribers and it was sort of growing steady. You know, you get a subscriber here, you get a subscriber there and in fact, let me have a sit down. Um, yeah, yeah, sort of, sort of steady. And it was difficult. I was like, what am I gonna vlog about? I need to do regular vlogs. Well, basically, the, the main role of a campsite warden is sort of cutting grass, cleaning toilets and showers, and showing people onto pitches. But behind the scenes, as you all now know, there is a lot more to it. So, so, so I was talking to somebody and they said, you know, Neil, what you need to do is put out a regular vlog, either, I don't know, two times a week, one time a week, three times a week, or whatever. But whatever you do, Neil, to grow your channel, make sure you put out regular content so people know when to tune in. So most of you now know that I normally put a vlog up um, either half five, quarter to six, six o'clock. That's when, I, sorry, on YouTube, you can see when hotspots are, when people are online. Um, and in recent times, I've pretty well started to put up product reviews on a Saturday. And the reason being is my viewership, my, my views on a Saturday are super low. Anyway, I'm, I'm, I told you this, I'm, I warned you this was going to be a right waffle. So I said to this person, I said, well, what, what am I going to vlog about? And he said, well, everyday life, Neil, just, just, just vlog about what you do, where you go, what you do on your day off, um, bring Russia into it, um, get Sandra involved a little bit more when she comes to visit. Um, because every day it's not, you're not just cutting grass, although that's, a big job and litter picking and cleaning toilets and cleaning showers but other things you're doing people will f eventually find it interesting so ho and behold i started to do a daily vlog and again i think it's 18 months now um i have bought a vlog out every single day uh, and that can be it can be exhausting you start a day you've got a blank canvas you you've got you've got days I, I i i have i've got no idea and i can some days you, you just dry up you've got no mojo to to do anything but invariably something comes up um today's a sort of good example as i say i, I was thinking about this last night and woke up this morning with it with the idea in my head um so yeah and, and then as i said I decided then to bring sandra in in a little bit more and if you go back on my vlogs and i it's a pain in the arse, it's because I keep saying go back, and it's, there's hundreds of vlogs out now. But, you know, I've got a vlog with Sandra um, about being married to a campsite warden, but not living together um, because of having to work away. And 
and obviously people started to, started to like Sandra and she became quite popular. We're very opposites, me and Sandra. And then, I, was it a year ago? I can't remember now. But I ended up buying uh, uh, an, another camera, a vlogging camera, another DJI. And I ended up with a spare DJI vlogging camera. And I said to Sandra, why don't you take this home and do, you know... Do, do, do a bit of, of, of vlogging about being the campsite warden's wife. Now, lots of you have said, why doesn't Sandra have her own channel? It's time-consuming, YouTube, really time-consuming. Anyway, I'm waffling. So Sandra's took this camera home, and as you've seen, Sandra come out from cutting her head off and not really having the camera up close to her face to flourishing um, with what she's been filming and things. Um, which helps me. So if Sandra manages to create five minutes of content, that really helps me. I try to make my vlogs about 20 minutes um, long. Uh, that's that's what I aim for. Um, and so the Warden, Campsite Warden channel content um, has got very, very, very varied. And again, if you go to last winter, I've, I, I said this time last year, I said, I'm going to dry up. There, there isn't going to, you're, you're going to get a vlog a week off me because I've got nothing to talk about. And even last winter when I went home, I managed to get something out every day, whether it was, oh, what was I doing last year? We entered the attic, didn't we? I um, uh, We put lagging in, we put floorboard in, we raised the floor on the attic. I was showing you cooking. Um, I was showing you meeting some friends and local businesses. Me and Sandra went out a few times. But we managed to bring this content to you. Uh yeah, so that was how I managed to keep the whole thing um, going. Right, I'm, I'm pausing here now. Sorry, this is going to be very, very, very random today um, with this vlog. Very random. Ooh, right, um, God, I can't even remember what I was talking about. This is some time later. Uh, yeah, yeah, Sandra wasn't it, in creating content. So obviously the channel has now grown and grown and thanks to you people out there and I'm talking to you hello um, it's, 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 it's gained some momentum and you know for the most part for the massive part everybody is very complimentary and very very nice I have got a few weirdos and people I've had to turn off commenting and things but hey ho haters you're gonna get them so the sort of channel has sort of grown and now it's very difficult for me and Sandra to understand what you what what you see in us because we're just we're just we're just people we're just we're not we're not we're just YouTubers we're just people and it's fantastic when people come to stay with us and you know they go oh, have a selfie Neil and you know do, and they bring presents and gifts and and say thank you for the content I'm absolutely overwhelmed with the enjoyment that we give to you that we don't know we give to you. That's not going to make any sense at all. Um, but I think it will make sense if you're, if you're a viewer. So, you know, we've been making all the content. And as I say, it's pretty time consuming. So I vlog during the day. And as I say, I aim to get about 20 minutes of coverage. When I finish work, invariably I obviously have my tea. Invariably I lie on my bed. I watch an hour of television. Um, current affairs news I often nap I often just abs just nod off then I edit probably seven eight o'clock at night and that can take a while because I've got to go through all today's clips that I've shot do the edit do the render do the upload um, and by the time I'm sort of uploading the previous vlog is sort of online and your comments are coming in and most evenings it's not all evenings that's bad to say that but most evenings I'm then obviously monitoring the comments because I say you do unfortunately get some weirdos um, out there some real haters who put some pretty nasty stuff up and so yeah that's what's that sort of where I am with 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 the content and as I say it's so hard to think each day what 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 I'm going to talk about if you've got any ideas if you've got any ideas at all on content creation do, do, do let me know. Sorry, I'm just checking the cottage at the moment. Um, so we've got a problem with the boiler, but the boiler's all right. And uh, so there's a farmer over here and 
He needs to put in um, fertiliser or something. Spray, spraying his crops, spraying his field, not his crops, um, with whatever he's doing. But, yeah, even things like that, when I do the first walk with Russia in the morning, and you can go right back to end of February when I come here and see how barren the fields were and then how it's all grown and the harvest being done. You've been able to follow the entire... Um, the entire season unfold um, unfold with us, and I suppose it's it's, it's a it's a it's a it's a real Emmerdale farm, a real Coronation Street because things come up and we have silly moments. You know, you've seen some of the things, some of the antics with me and Dan that we get up to, uh, some very immature moments, um, and you've seen the other characters. For want of a better word, that are regulars on our vlog, you know, look at look at Killer Dave, Dave and Julie. Hello, Dave. Um, you know, he's he's a great guy, and he's he's become a character. And when Mark was working for us, I know a lot of you showed a lot of love towards Mark and you know, other people that have stayed who were trying to bring on camera. Um, I need to go and do some toilets and showers. I will be back shortly. Back in the office for a little bit. Um, so yeah, the YouTube channel, as a, what was I just talking about then? I can't remember. Editing, I think it was, wasn't it? And uploading. Yeah, so it takes, um, it doesn't take a lot of time, but it does take time every single night. And obviously as the channel has grown and people like you have hit the um, thumbs up the like button and have subscribed to the channel, I do get a little bit of um, income from monetization of the channel. It's very, 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 very little. It's a few quid a month. But that money um, I put aside, and as I say, with my wages from here, because you've got to bear in mind that basically I have uh, four months, maybe five months, where I don't earn any money at all. I, I, don't, have, I don't have any earnings. And I took a massive hit this year. I had absolutely sorry. Those that will um, that be following the vlog will know I had some pretty serious car problems this year. I lost. Oh, so for some of you, you won't say a lot of money, for, but for me, a lot of money on a duff car. Um, it was a, quite a few grand went missing, which should have been our winter money. Um, so yeah. So as the channel has sort of grown, that is 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 nice to have um a little bit of income coming in that will help us over winter and obviously my viewing um figures will dive over winter because obviously i've got no idea if i'm going to be able to put out any vlogs or exactly what i'm going to do so to say that this time last year i said you know i might just go down to putting out a vlog twice a week i really have got no idea at the moment a lot will just depend on on, on the mojo whether you've got any cre creative ideas uh, content creation ideas they call it so the um and so that's sort of how, how, how i've sort of got here and as, as i say my goal at the beginning of the season when i started this year would be to reach six thousand subscribers by christmas and i'm on target for that it might happen earlier it might happen later but that that, that, that was my goal and for me to get a regular two and a half to three and a half thousand views now and again if, if, if you, once that happens again the video recommendations from youtube starts to kick in and things like that so um yeah it's sort of on target to sort of where I've, where i've got to and as you've seen you know some companies have approached us for doing product reviews which i know a lot of people don't like um, but for me, those are going to be uh, items that either I will be using myself or I will gift um, as presents once I get home. I've got some uh, some ideas on some of those items. So is there another Campsite Warden channel out there that puts out Campsite Warden content every single day or extremely regular? If you know of any anybody, let me know below. And I'm not talking about people that just put up random once every six months sort of videos or holiday videos i'm talking about people who actually put content out i did a video recently called the moaners <laughs> a lot of people didn't like that but yeah well you, you know you, you you'll get you'll get a, a, a bit of a negative thing off me and sometimes you'll see me really pissed off you'll see me really really tired um you, you know and and 
frustrated that I've got late arrivals. You know, everybody should be on this site by 6.30. That's in our terms and conditions. And you'll see, you'll see the frustration. But as a campsite warden, every campsite warden has the same frustrations. So again, if you've got any ideas about content, uh, any ideas what you want to know about or for me to talk about or anything like that, please do comment below if you're able to do that. that um, because getting getting ideas getting ideas for uh, for videos is so hard. It, it's incredibly hard, and I don't have a storyboard. I don't have a plan. Everything is just off the cuff. I, I'm going to carry on. I've got no idea how long this video is at the moment, but um, I've got other things I need to be doing. Oh, wait. As I'm recording this, sorry, we've got a bad storm on the way in in the next few days. Uh, anyway, I'll do that on a campsite warden vlog because um, this is the waffle vlog isn't it the uh, 18 months of um, putting out a daily vlog as a campsite warden uh, I've got no idea how long the video is going to be uh, and I hope you found that of some interest I uh, don't often do a full waffle video uh, that's very very long um, I might get round to at some stage to redo a, a highs and a lows of being a campsite warden I just um, Talking to a couple down here who are fellow wardens that are staying with us at the moment uh, about some of the, the highs and the lows and things like that. But anyway, a vlog a day, every day for over 18 months. Isn't that remarkable? Hope you've enjoyed that. If you have done, smash the like button. That'd be really appreciated. If you're not already done so and you're able to, there is a sort of subscribe button down there if you wanted to, wanted to do that. Look after yourselves, guys. Stay tuned in and... Um, Take care.